Now, for this week's Inside Info. On July 30th, Kelly Ripper returned to work on the set of All My Children following a two-month maternity leave after giving birth to her second child, daughter Lola. For Kelly, a return to the role of Haley means a return to being pregnant. I don't know. I think I'm carrying a little low. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping that I would get to come here and show off my great physique and have people at least lie to me and say, oh, you look incredible. I never would have known you had a baby, la, la, la. But instead, I'm back in maternity clothes. The actress came back to hugs and kisses from cast and crew, especially from husband and co-star Mark Consuelos. It feels great. I really don't feel like I've been gone anywhere because Mark, since he's had a daughter, is so smitten that he can't be away from her for more than three hours. So we've been coming here visiting him while he's at work. How does Kelly juggle her role as co-host of ABC's Live with Regis and Kelly and play Haley on the ABC show with a little help? I have to say that it's, it's easier, first of all, because my husband is so good. He's like so on top of everything. He thinks about all the other stuff so that I can just focus on the kids. And by the kids, I mean Michael, Lola, and Regis. Kelly and Mark named their real life daughter Lola, but all my children fans will have the chance to name Haley and Mateo's first child. Baby naming contest. The fans can log on to ABC Online and vote for a variety of names in both sexes because we don't know what the sex of the baby is. I don't know. I'm sure they know, but they won't print it on a page because it's so top secret. Log on to ABC.com from August 27th through August 31st to cast your vote. The winning name will be announced on air in late September. On Friday, August 3rd, General Hospital stars Rebecca Herbst, Jacob Young, Jensen Buchanan, and Chad Brannan <laughs> greeted fans for the first of four star-studded Fridays at the ABC Soap Opera Bistro in Disney's California Adventure at the Disney... Coming up... <laughs> yes, my parents love decorating, and I went, that sounds so superficial, honey. <laughs> But we, we, you know, we, we enjoy it. Discover Julia's love for creature comforts when Soap Center continues. <laughs> On All My Children, Brooke English is constantly surrounded by turmoil and angst. In contrast, actress Julia Barr, in her exquisitely decorated New Jersey home, surrounds herself with family and a few special friends. We'll start with the dog. <laughs> the dog is Nell. She's going to be five. She's a mixed breed, German Shepherd, and who knows what else. And now, see, my Sierra. Oh, 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 oh. We have two cats who are both ten. Then we have the parakeet. We have Lewis, our lop-eared rabbit. And then we have about nine, I think, assorted goldfish in the pond outside. There they go. I'm probably out there at least three times a day to feed them and just sort of hang out. It's very cathartic because there's a, there's a waterfall. Well, it's like being, you know, stepping outside into this wonderful sort of forest garden. When we first moved here, I thought, well, I don't want a greenhouse. The more we sort of sat with the greenhouse, I thought, you know, I've always loved orchids and I had tried to regrow them, but this was a perfect spot. This is the den, which we love because it's very cozy and it's a big gathering place for all of us. We started collecting snow dome shakers and the collection got huge, so we reduced it to the very selected few. And then the, the two shelves below that are um, glass sculpture, which my daughter created. My daughter goes, yes, my parents love decorating. And I went, that sounds so superficial, honey. <laughs> But we, we, you know, we, we enjoy it. This is the living room, which is um, full of items that uh, we've sort of collected and purchased over the years. We like sculptural, architectural pieces. The table is very architectural. We've always loved the Barcelona chair, so we finally got a, a set. This is a great piece. It's called a rataplan. We've had this for ages, and it actually, the two sides come up to form like a chair with arms. And we like whimsy. If you'll see, there's things like a dress form mannequin. The chair, the, the spine of the back is perfect for playing. 
guitar. We loved it. We tend to buy art when we travel. Like this piece is called The Pool and it comes from a gallery in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is a piece that um, we purchased when we were in Sundance, Utah. This piece is actually carved from a rubbing of the, um, the pyramid at Chichen Itzu. And I think this was at a gallery in Nantucket, and it's a sleeping cat, which we thought was appropriate because it's sleeping, and this is the bedroom. <laughs> I buy pillows the same way I put on lipstick. I keep putting on lipstick until I get the shade I want. I just keep buying pillows until I get the combination <laughs> as then they all work together. It's just what finally appeals to our eye. As you come down the stairs and go into the den, there's a carved out area. And I keep them by the door because they're very heavy and make an excellent weapon. <laughs> Have you ever picked them up? It's a welcoming sort of home. So I'm always glad to walk in the door at the end of the day. I'd love to come home.